Hello, today we are talking about how Fastener Engineering can help your organization. To do that, I am joined by Bob Lund. Bob has decades of experience solving problems for everyone from manufacturers to beverage companies. Bob, thank you for being here. Happy to be here, uh, but the decades makes me sound really old. But then I guess I look at my hair color and there you go. <laughs> Happy to be here. Bob, thank you again for talking. Uh, to set the tone a little bit, uh, I know that you have a story about a time that you found a single nut in a parking lot. Is that a good place to start? Um, I think I know which one you're talking about, and it's a little bit different. Uh, like that game of, of stories where you whisper into something something into someone's ear about a hippo and they, they uh, pass it on as a giraffe. But uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't me that found it, and it wasn't a nut, but it was the head of the bolt. It was really my customer. Uh, but it was a hydrogen embrittlement issue, and we were working with some great big bolts, uh, bolts that were two and a half inches in diameter. Uh, and when you tighten a bolt, uh, you're actually spending a lot of force stretching it. And a bolt is really basically a spring and the amount of energy it takes to tighten it, in this case, thousands of foot pounds uh, to get this thing tight is stored up in that bolt. Uh, and hydrogen embrittlement is an issue with really hard bolts that uh, you start to get an internal crack going on to the point where uh, eventually there's, there's uh, uh, not enough material left on the inside of the bolt to stop the head from just flying off. And in this case, luckily, they put together the bolt and nut on a, uh, on a Friday and went home for the weekend. Uh, and when somebody came back Monday morning, the head of the bolt was sitting out in the parking lot. It had busted off and flown through the wall of a steel-sided pole barn type building, basically, and, uh, and was sitting in the parking lot. So uh, imagine how devastating that could have been if somebody was standing in the wrong position. So, uh, yeah, uh, an, an incredible uh, story that made the customer realize that I guess we should have taken some better precautions and uh, not... Uh, uh, not blown off the fact that I had warned them that they could be experiencing some problems by electroplating these really hardened bolts. So yeah, it's a great story. That story, it feels like it highlights a depth of knowledge that I didn't even know existed. So is that a big part of engineering education? Do engineers as a whole uh, know a lot about fasteners coming into it? Uh, no, uh, we're basically all dumb, dumb as a stone when it comes uh, to fasteners <laughs> after we get out of engineering college. I, I went through that myself. I actually taught for about 15 years uh, at the Milwaukee School of Engineering. We didn't teach anything on fasteners. No one that I'm aware of really has a class that sits down and explains fasteners, uh, which is probably too bad because almost everything in the manufacturing world that has to be put together is put together with some type of a fastener. Uh, so in this case, we're, uh, we're sitting here expected to work on something that, uh, that we don't really know much about. We don't have much of a background in. Uh, and, uh, and someone just says, here's your project. Uh, figure out what fasteners we're going to use. So the reality is most people study quickly at the University of Google. Uh, and after about an hour of that, they say, ah, this is boring and uh, I don't want to learn much more. What did we do last time? Yeah, let's do the same thing. So you continue to use the same fasteners that uh, people have been using for years. And I guess the, the problem with that comes down to uh, you're assuming that the person that started this whole uh, design 20 years ago actually did the research and picked the right bolts. The reality is that was probably when they were the new guy and they just randomly grabbed some bolts. And uh, thus it's job security for us, perhaps fixing some of the issues that our customer has. Is that pretty common? Do you see a lot of folks who think of fasteners as an afterthought in their designs? Well, think about the wonderful products that our wonderful customers deal with. We've got customers that make uh, cranes and mining equipment. We've got uh, customers that make products that uh, uh, that help film uh, what is happening when a police officer walks up on a, on a car. Uh, all of these pretty cool, somewhat sexy products 
uh, and you you look at the machine parts, the castings, the the molded plastic parts, the things that uh, are more cosmetic, and they are all thought of first. And after you get everything else done, somebody says, yeah, who wants to figure out the nuts and bolts to put this together? It's almost always the afterthought part of it. It's the least sexy part of uh uh, just about any product out there. So yeah, it is really an afterthought, which generally means uh, the the design part of it goes to the newest, uh, lowest person on the totem pole uh, to, to put the fasteners together. So what is the main reason someone would want Fastenal's engineers to help them? I guess to deal with somebody that is an expert in the field, that has the experience of having been down this path and made those mistakes before, worked with uh, uh, someone perhaps even specifically in their industry, maybe a competitor of theirs, uh, that has had the same type of problems that they're having now, uh, and getting us involved uh, both to fix issues uh, and probably even better to get us involved up front in the design work so that we can help eliminate things before they start costing customers money. That's really the, the main takeaway, the advantage. Uh, if everyone could afford to have a fastener engineer on their staff, it would be nice. But generally speaking, unless you're you know, one of the automotive companies or one of the great big monster companies out there, nobody has a fastener specific engineer. So we get to fill that role for free, essentially, for our customers. So when it comes to fasteners, what's the number one thing people don't think about, but they probably should? I guess how much there is that's involved in fasteners. Uh, everyone assumes it's as easy as tightening a nut and a bolt together. Uh, they don't realize that if you, uh, uh, if you have different strengths of fasteners, you need different tightening strategies. Uh, and you can have one set of issues. If you under tighten, you're probably going to be uh, seeing a fatigue issue in your fasteners, where after a while, much like taking a paper clip and bending it back and forth and back and forth, it will eventually crack to the point where it pops. Uh, if you over tighten, you can stretch and, and cause a whole different set of problems. Uh, and then using even the right type of fastener for the job uh, is, there's a lot more to it than, than everyone would think. So uh, having us come and do a training so that our, our customers, engineers have that same experience of, man, I never even thought about that. Uh, I guess there is more to it than I expected. Uh, for them to go through that epiphany, if that's the right word, uh, then allows them to really draw a little more on what we have to offer them. You mentioned trainings. Is that, if you have to narrow it down, is that the main takeaway that you want people to have? I guess. Uh, we really want our engineers to develop a relationship, and the easiest way to develop a relationship with our customers, engineers, is to get a whole bunch of them in the room at the same time so that we're not one at a time going from engineer to engineer saying, hey, this really is important. Let's get it all done at one time. And generally, we, we bribe people. Uh, we'll bring the pizza and Give us an hour or two of your time so that we can do an introductory type training. Usually our customers, engineers don't think they need it, but they, they come because there's free food and because, uh, of course, we, we have giveaways. We, we, we give away uh, free pocket protectors and uh, other things that say fasten all on them uh, during that training. But the, the basic takeaway for them is... Uh, I learned a whole lot in that hour where I was getting fed pizza. And we almost always come back then once a quarter uh, or, or more often and do trainings on more topics. So it really shows us that the customer's engineering team uh, has responded well and realizes they, they need the help. Well, Bob, I've taken enough of your time today. Thank you for talking. Absolutely. And uh, if there's anything else our engineering team can do for anyone that's watching this, uh, engineer at fastenall.com is a general email address that goes to all the dozens of engineers that we have out there. We'd be more than happy to help with any technical issues that, uh, that you have. Even if you're not a current Fastenall customer, come take us for a test drive.